in your opinion, Dr. why should the delegates vote for you? Well, I am not forcing the delegates to vote for me. I am just conversing for my vote. And I think they will vote for me because they like me. I can see this feeling of like, this feeling of love and this feeling of uh, their reliability on me. They, they think that I am a reliable guy, that I am a guy with a lot of passion for my work, that I am a guy with a lot of commitment for my work and that I am ac accountable, that I am transparent, that I have reported to them what I did at all points in my political career. I have been reporting to them three times a year, four times a year and I have always maintained a communication line with them. You see, I never cut off communication with them. I used to send them birthday cards, I used to send them greeting cards, I used to be in touch with them through SMS, I had a service centre in my ministry, I had a service centre in my constituency. I was a very consistent politician to them. Uh, consistency is my hallmark. It's, I'm not a politician. When I like it, I come in. When I don't like it, I go out. Has and when I like, I come back to make a stick for the throne. I'm not a throne claimer. <laughs> you know. Your rival is accusing you of money politics. Mm. Yeah. Uh, lately they said in Malacca, yeah, 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 yeah. what, what are your comments? I don't open my pocket and take off money and give to anybody. What I gave was uh, my brochures and my disc and my books, you know. Sato Sutra has also uh, spoke about your defeat in Old Islam yeah. in the last yeah, yeah. elections. Yeah, he Since didn't. Then, a campaigning tool. True, true. But he forgot about his own defeat. Just after being a young MP, he went into uh, parliament in 1974, got defeated in 1978 at a very young age. First term, one term. He got thrashed by V. David. He doesn't talk of that. I lost only by 198 votes in a tsunami, and in a, in, a, in, a, in an election where they are uh, people closely associated with him admit that they were responsible for the defeat of the party candidates. They claim responsibility in one writing. I saw it. You know, so he shouldn't compare his uh, my, my, my defeat. He should compare his defeat with the era in which he contested at a time when Barisan National is very strong. I think. You put anybody also, you can win. He lost to V. David by 3,000 over votes. You know, and then we lost that seat forever. We never got that seat. You know, I was in my constituency for four terms. Uh, I was in my constituency for four terms. And people know the kind of political environment in which we all contested. You see, we contested a very hostile political environment. He's going up against the president, yeah. given the fact that he's campaigning on your behalf. Mm. Oh. Okay, that's why I earlier told that he, he had wanted to become president. That's his ambition, to become president by hiding in the post of the deputy president, hoping that one day something will happen to the president and he can come and sit in that chair and start warming it, like the way he warmed it for 25 years. Well, he said uh, the reason why he never wanted to contest was because he did not want to... For the sake of the party, that was his No, for if, if that is so, he should not have challenged the president for the post of deputy president in 1978 and 1989, he went against the president. You know, who was the cause of the disunity and the fight in the party? Not the president or me. You would not be able to pull this off on your own, that you lack support. This is what your critics That's are his saying. opinion. I have my own strength. I move on my own. He knows it. On a one-to-one -one basis, you say, I am still better off than him. Because I've served well in a short span of time. I've put my record straight there. And in one of the press statements, I remember he mentioned if the candidate is supported by the deputy president, by the president, of course he has an advantage, you see. So he was looking forward for that kind of support. I'm so sorry he never received it. He feels that he is the right man for the job because he has slogged for the party and he slogged for the community. That's okay, la, that claim anybody can make. La. <laughs> Uh, Sodhi also says he's the right man for the job. Mm -hmm. I have never said all those things. <laughs> okay, on the issue of caste politics, sir, mm. do you have any comments regarding this? Well, I can't make uh, a comment on it because I don't belong to any of the dominant caste. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a minority. Mm -hmm. So I'm very insignificant in this party caste-wise. Mm -hmm. So I, I cannot make any statement on caste. Why? Because I have the support of all the caste groups. Different, different sections of our Indian community support me. You know, they think that I am one of the most neutral guys, you see, that I won't dominion over them, you know.
But do you believe that it, the party is rocked by this? I don't think so. Party? I don't think so. If you look at the party, the way the candidates are picked, the way the branches are structured, the way the divisions are structured from 1946 to now, we are not a caste organization. We are a political organization. That he is doing this. Do you have any comments? I actually don't uh, read much of what Dr. Dr. Subramaniam says. Being 49 years old, he would be the best person as opposed to the other two candidates. Do you think age is... He, he may be right, but experience is a more important factor in so politics. You. you know, I've gone many rounds in this party, I have more experience than he has. He's new. He, this was his first general election. He is a by-election candidate. He's just a first general election candidate. I think more than a continuation of Sami Velu's legacy. But the same... No, no, no. Sir, Dato Sri Sami Velu has said at many points, I move on his, my own. I always move on my own. I have my different style. I'm a performer. I'm a leader in my own right. I've shown leadership. I've proven it. So I've got a track record. I've got my footprints. Mm -hmm. So you will chart your own course? Yeah, I'll chart my own course. Of well, course, continuity is important, you see. You mm -hmm. can't go and undo the achievements of the past, uh, your predecessor, you see. That won't be my policy, you see. Team change. And uh, how do you propose to change the party? They are not giving any definition of their concept of change. They are just talking of change. Change means they should have changed the president, you see. They shouldn't try to change the deputy president. No. I am just a small figure in this whole party. I am part of a team, you know. I am a team leader, you see. Change means if they wanted to change, I saw them all shouting about change. They should have changed the president. He never had the guts to do that. I have said that earlier, you know. You know, he said, when he said I was a shadow, I said, if I am a shadow, that's okay, la, you know. Shadows also can outshadow people like him. Okay. okay. If I am a shadow, how is it that I am able to stand up on my own and speak on my own, think on my own, do things on my own? I brought the government to the people all on my own. I don't consult the party president as far as my ministry work is concerned. As far as party work is concerned, of course, I am under a leader. Is it? I have to consult him and uh, argue with him and finally follow his directions. Change will not be possible because the president remains a stumbling block. The president is not a stumbling block. You see, the president is not a stumbling block. The president has created enough change in this party. The next people who follow up on his leadership will create more change according to the needs of the times. Do you think this is a healthy practice in a democracy? Well, there was one point in the political history of this party when the president continuously supported Dato Subramaniam. When Jambo Maniam once filed the nomination papers to contest for the post of deputy president, he was very unhappy with it and he withdrew the contest. So, in the past, before 2006, mm -hmm. Dato Subramaniam was always proposed by the party president and, and seen to it that he is elected unopposed. Why is it when he was supported by the president, he kept quiet? Huh? I am being supported by the president now, just like the way the president supported him in the past. But it's so unfortunate they couldn't get along. Am I to be blamed for it? My scenario is like, when the kingdom is already on fire, there's an intense battle for the throne. Is MIC still relevant in this political MIC is relevant and will continue to be relevant because we are based on... Uh, uh, we are the only party that represents the Indians in this country, you see. And if you can look at the way our political campaigns are carried out, at the way audiences attend our campaign meetings, at our elections, at our nominations, at our branch uh, meetings, at our division meetings, at any meeting the party headquarters calls, the party is intact. The party is largely intact. There is no decline, you know. So it's not waning at all, is it? And then we can see pe more and more people interested in joining the party, is it? We in this country, like the AMNO, which represents the Malays, the MCA, which represents the Chinese, uh, the MIC will continue to be a party that represents Indians because there is no other holistic party that can represent the Indians. And we are the only party with an archival memory. We've got a long history, a very long history. See? So at some points uh, during our history, we have uh, suffered. Mm -hmm. Then we will make a comeback.